Hi pals, this week on Go With The Heat, Martin Castillo proves his honor in the episode Bushido. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from November 16th to November 23rd, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 19th, President Reagan and Russian General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev would meet for the first time at the Geneva Summit in Geneva, Switzerland. This was the first time the two leaders had met face-to-face. Above all else, the meeting emphasized peace and furthering cooperation between the two superpowers. On November 20th, after many delays, Microsoft releases Windows 1.0. Essentially a graphical interface for MS-DOS, the operating system was panned by critics for relying too heavily on the mouse, requiring MS-DOS 2.0 and at least 256 kilobytes of RAM, Microsoft would finally end support in 2001. In sports, on November 18th during Monday Night Football, one of the most iconic moments in NFL history happened at RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. During the second quarter, the game tied 7-7. The Redskins quarterback Joe Theismann was sacked by Giants defensive end Lawrence Taylor and Harry Carson, causing Theismann to suffer a compound fracture of both bones in his lower right leg. The scene and sound of the play is unforgettable and ultimately ended Theismann's career. In music, We Built This City from Starship still holds the number one spot on the Hot 100. Instead of continuing to talk about this terrible song, I will instead point out a Miami Vice favorite, Glenn Fry's classic, You Belong to the City, which was written specifically for the Miami Vice episode, The Prodigal Son, peaks at number two on the Hot 100. As the clearly superior song about a city, you can hear more about this song on episode 27 of Go With The Heat. In theaters, the movie at the top of the box office is King Solomon's Mind, starring Richard Chamberlain and Sharon Stone. This was the fourth film version of the 1885 book of the same name. Although profitable, the film was not received well. I have to admit, I haven't seen this movie, but my love of bad movies and seeing this only holds a 13% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. I will be adding this to my list. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.